Hello Jira users. With our app, you can effortlessly generate KPI reports within Jira service management dashboards and track performance against SLAs. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through configuring a first response time KPI report. Let's begin. First, configure your data source to filter issues created within the desired time period and project for analysis. Choose the time to first response SLA metric. Then specify elapsed SLA metric. This metric measures the time that has passed since the SLA timer started until a specific event occurs, such as the first response in this case. Keep all cycles setting. Opt for average calculation method to smooth out fluctuations and keep the default by number of issues. For the display by setting, choose the created field and specify relevant period granularity. In our sample, we select month. Activate the target feature. Then select fixed from the target options on the right. Choose per x-axis item target result and input a specific target value. In our sample report, this value is set at four hours. Specify that exceeding this target should be considered bad. Under the more settings section, you can turn on a warning threshold. This helps you notice if results are getting close to the target, so you can focus on them more. Finally, customize the target label from the default target to max, or any other relevant label, to reflect that exceeding the target value is undesirable. And that wraps up the first response time KPI report. Keep monitoring your performance against SLAs to maintain an excellent level of service and keep your customers satisfied. Explore other Jira KPI reports generated with the Performance Objectives app. Thank you for watching.